Hi guys, welcome to Anu's Corner. I'm so glad you joined me today. The video today is going to be about a really exciting product I picked up from Juvia's place and it is the Saharan by Juvia's eyeshadow palette. Now, this packaging was so gorgeous and I mean, I love the artwork. I mean, all their palettes have such gorgeous artwork on them. But when you open up the palette, this is what the shades look like. They are all so beautiful. The, the most impressive thing I found about this palette, and I find that a lot of palettes lack, is a really pigmented black. And this just completely, you know, com actually just completes the palette for me because I do do a lot of smoky eye looks. I've actually done one today. I've used this palette on my eyes today. It's a very wearable look for um, day to day. Um, and I've done it with this palette and I've actually used some of the brighter shades, but you know, as you can tell, it's not too uh, drastic or crazy looking. In the pan, it looks um, really bright, but these shades blend easily, and they just they just they just amazing quality. So, um, I'm just going to do quick swatches of all of these um, on my arm, and I will kind of walk you through them, the names of the shades, and um, give you a quick review on um, on my thoughts. I'll also kind of tell you what I have on my eyes and you know how I've done this look. So again, this is the Saharan by Juvia's Place. Um, the the shades I'm going to start off with. I've already kind of swatched them. That one is Sokoto. It's a bright um, orange, but very wearable. I have that in my crease, if you can tell that. The next one is Wadabi. It's a green gold. Um, the next one is Bororo. It is a um, dark. Uh, burgundy pink and it's metallic as you can tell the difference that's a match in these two are metallic the next one I have is Kia which is a teal green and actually let me do a better swatch of that now you can really tell the next one I have is Zoya which is a rose gold the next one is Iman that's what I have on my um, as a highlight my brow bone highlight the next one is Jamila it is a burnt uh, orange um, the next one is Senegal, one of my favorites. It's a bronzy gold. Um, the next is, of course, Chad. It is the black, really pigmented, matte black, gorgeous. Um, the next one, if you can't really tell, is Katsina. It's a, a neutral toned brown, and I've used that as a transition shade. Uh, the second to the last one is Lulu. It is, again, a really beautiful golden um, eyeshadow with a little bit of uh, pink in it and I have that in the inner uh, actually a third of my eye um, on my top eyelid and then the last one uh, one of my favorites is Fula it's this really gorgeous pink but on the eye it looks like metallic -y and really really pretty for spring and summer so those are all the shades you can tell I mean it was this was one swipe guys so you know no problem with pigmentation, blends like a dream. Um, I, I just really think this is a very, very nice, complete palette. Um, when I saw these shades particularly, I was very, very curious to try them in a look. And what I did is I used them as a transition shade, um, both of them. And then I've used black to smoke out, you know, my inner, uh, my outer V. I used um, Wadabi as my inner corner highlight, as you can tell. And, um, you know, I think it turned out really, really nice. So, um, you know, Juvia's Place, you can get them online um, exclusively, I believe. And um, they retail anywhere between, depending on if you have a coupon code or not, you know, between $17 to $22. Um, they're very, very affordable. I mean, you get about um, uh, 16 shades, you know, for in this palette. And, and so I'm, I'm loving it. As you can tell, I've made some dents too in this. So um, overall, the thoughts um, on this palette, I love it. I think it is, it has, um, you can do many, many looks with these. You can do a really bright festival look or you can do a really neutral toned look. Um, and um, these, if you've never tried one of these palettes, I would highly recommend this one because it does have that matte black and I tend to do a lot of smoky eyes. So that's one of my favorite things to have on a palette. So when I'm traveling, I just take one palette, you know, not having to try to find another palette with a black. 
So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review video. If you want me to do some more looks with this palette, you know, leave your comments below. I would love to do that for you. And thank you for joining me today. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.